welcome to the third segment with the view of Las Vegas and our ball tracking managing principal Sean Cosgrove and also his very cute kid yep. Thomas. Hey again. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> so All right. we got a full house today in here. Jeez. Yes we do yeah. and I was so nervous in the first uh, segment because right. I been Sorry, it's been one you. of those mornings. I was, you know, running over here. I have an Escalade, and I'm, I felt it kind of bumpy. I'm like, what's up? And of course, you know, it kind of gives you everything. What's up? Yeah. It says your left tire is flat. I'm like, what? This is that time of year for that too. And I'm like, weather. I just had one like two weeks ago, and yeah. I always, you know, haven't bumped and everything because yeah. I'm always on the road. I got five kids, so it's like northwest, east, south. It never stops. Right. So um, I'm like, I called her. I said, oh girl, you know, she. Dude, you're gonna have to go live without me. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so. just like I was like, oh my god, yeah. come on, Ariel, call in. Oh, you did great. You did great. We watched it. it was oh, awesome. thank you. Yeah. Well, um, let's start about our topic about Trump. Okay. Our President Trump. Well, 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 everybody. This is a hot topic. You know, it's a hot topic because it has become very personal. Of course, our president has, you know, always caused conversation among everybody yes but this president has caused a lot of good conversation and a lot of negative conversation to where I've seen family members really go at it I mean seriously go at it friends people are almost kind of scared to really say their opinion if they like him or they don't like him because of all the you know negativity and turmoil going on so that's why we decided today that we would have it as our topic mm -hmm. sounds good so well, let's start with you. What do okay. you think? How about that? Let's well, just to touch base on what you just mentioned, yeah. I think we live in a world now where people can get very, they can get offended very easily. Very. And so, like, when topics like this that are very debatable come up, I, I think that people, that we're, we're, like I said, we're in a place now where we really believe, what we believe in, we're very passionate about. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it has been very polarized in the sense that, like, if you, tr you support Trump, you're way over here. And if you're against Trump, you're kind of way over here. Right. There's really not a lot of middle area. Um, I, I have heard that you, uh, you're... I, you know what? I've had my, my concerns with him, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Way back before it even, before he even became president, okay, um, some of his actions, like, again, you know, the, the mocking of the handicapped person. Things like that bother me. I'm sorry. You know, yeah. having five children, I mean, everybody, you know, health, you know, having health, somebody healthy. God forbid, you know, you have a sick child or a sick relative or something. Our first thing we teach our kids are don't make fun of nobody, you know, when they start school, correct? Yeah. And here's somebody that represents all of us, you know, United States, all of us as a whole. And he's setting up stage mocking somebody that has an illness that hurts me that bothers me as a person yeah. take the political stuff out for a minute as a person then you know of course his remarks towards women I have three young girls you know children I don't want somebody discussing I'm gonna grab you by this or because I got money I could do this to them we already know if you're a certain level in life you know you got the accessibility to do certain things we all know that yeah. but to hear it it's very raw it's exactly. disgusting as a person you know the thing is what I see and that is everybody say the same thing you know I say a lot of cussing you know cuss, um, you know swearing and everything but I don't see say it in public the thing is what happened is he was caught by uh, probably Democrat um, paparazzi I don't know mm -hmm. what they are what is their own uh, point of view but this is what happened they uh, especially when they are um, a famous entity like our president right. is, once they are in the position they start putting out there what what to bring them down i think that's what it happens and i promise you not only donald trump would say that i oh, would no. say he, other he's, he's a very aggressive human being very yes, he is. yeah, yeah. Very. I, I will give you that i mean he is I, I he's not your poster child politician no and i think that's why he's where he's at right now a lot of people are tired of being lied to by the government they are by the politicians they wanted somebody that's going to come out and speak for them and not only for them but like not hide things and right. obviously yes. there's always going to be things that we're not going to know about oh, yeah, exactly, but he's yeah. i love one of the things i really like is how active he is on social media i mean even if i don't get a chance to watch the news which i really don't a lot of the times i can still twitter i can open up my twitter or, or facebook or anything and he's there this is what i'm doing today this is what i'm doing today and i i really i really do appreciate that i think everyone has a past 
Um, mm -hmm. So like when you talk about the things, I mean, is it, a, is it a character flaw? Can it be a character flaw? Well, Absolutely. But I think that like, in a sense of like some of the things that like as pertaining to our country, I think that he can do well. I think it's early to kind of see that yet. I mean, what has it been? Six, six months, months now? Six yeah. Months. But this and is again, even, even as that, I know he's saying make America great. I'm going to bring jobs back. But he says that and almost kind of contradicting himself when his clothes, his daughter's clothes, they're all made in China or Taiwan or India. You know, you want to keep everything in America. Why aren't you pulling your sources and bringing it to America or begin with that? You know what I mean? If you're saying it, but you're saying it for us, you're not following your own words. Now with Russia, it started off, you know, uh, a little, little spark. Mm -hmm. Now it's become huge. And it's like every day you turn on the news. I mean, to the point where we're all kind of getting sick and tired of hearing everything. You know what I mean? They've taken away from really what's going on. You know, what's going on with our health care? Nobody really knows. What's right, going on with our education? Nobody knows. He hired all these powerful people in there. But I mean, nothing's happening. Then he's caught talking about him. Like today, I saw real briefly while I'm getting ready, you know, you flip on CNN or Fox or whatever. He was talking bad yesterday. They caught him the speaking now. bad about uh, Jeff Sessions. Um, and I really didn't catch the whole story, but this is somebody that he just hired that was telling us how great he is. Then, you know, there were issues with him. He was going to pull out, then he's back in. Now they got him on tape, you know, Donald Trump, president, speaking bad about him. So it's like, make up your mind. Uh, we don't know what's going on. You no, know, we don't. Mean, Nobody. All these other, you know, countries, Europe, everybody's mm -hmm. concerned. China, North Korea. And that's the biggest problem. That's yeah. our like, the when the they're alliance that we missiles? have with these other countries. Yeah. So we, yeah. They need to, like, know that we're, because America is a superpower. We are the, we've yeah. been the superpower. And, and if we look like that, they're, they're We look be like nervous. we're breaking yeah. down. You yeah. know, really. I mean, yes, we have the best military. Yes, we have, everything is great about United States. That's why people have flocked always here. You know what I mean? And it's it's breaking right now. Everything is broken. Our people are broken here. And I just, I don't feel like he's kind of, if you're that leader, take control of us, of everybody. I'm not saying, you know, tell us exactly, maneuver us, but show the other countries like, you got it together. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like the other countries are looking, they're looking like, ah, that joker, that clown shit. Look what's going on now. So, you, so know you, what you, mean? Think, you think that uh, we are not... Um, our leader is not a good leader right now. Can we give him uh, extra time to at least prove himself? We have to. We got no choice. Yeah. Four years at least. Exactly. But I'm just saying he needs to sort of tighten everything back up again. You know what it I mean? Is. I'm not saying that it was run right by, like, you know, Obama, Obama or Clinton and all that, the Bushes. It's all been bullshit at the end it of the is, day. You is. know what I mean? That's what they I take money there. I'm saying it on, you know, yeah. it's, it's all bullshit. We all know it. You know, you to, know be what honest I mean? is, to be honest is uh, Donald Trump it doesn't have any political uh, uh, background. No. So, but he has that uh, leadership style. Right. And to be honest is I kind of, I like, I really adore his uh, leadership style. Mm -hmm. Because he uh, he ran his company for so long, and a lot of leader, uh, a lot of leader with ENTJ, ENTJ has only a three percent population in population in the world. Mm -hmm. So he is part of that. If you look at ENTJ, they have this uh, very aggressive, very um, demanding personality, and that's what mm -hmm. I see in him. And you know, to be uh, an ENTJ leader is. There will be a lot of times that you are misinterpreted of how you actually uh, do your leadership, mm -hmm. and this is what's going on. I, you know, I, I, I don't know, but that's what is going on. What I see in Trump, so yeah. to be honest, he's acclimating to his position. I think that he has made some harsh uh, decisions, right. maybe just to kind of like send a shockwave that hey, I'm here. America's, we're we're like we're gonna change yeah, the way we're going. Like you know, like with him pulling out of like the the Paris climate thing, that was. That was a pretty bold move. I honestly, I mean, we still have a few more years before that's going to come into play. So I think that he's probably going to look at his decision and go, maybe we should, you know, get back in it. But it was all around. business related. He was, he was it, thinking, he felt like America was being treated unfair based on like, you know, India and China not being, you know, held up to the same standards for like what another was it like twelve years or something, yeah. not to like twenty thirty. Guys, I haven't like, talked to the camera. Yeah. Now. So, all right, go ahead, go ahead, and uh, before we close this segment, go ahead, say uh, something. So, um, me and my daddy have been, uh, been going to, uh, to the gym. Oh. And I've been, and I've been, um, seeing some friends and I made some friends. Uh -huh. It was very nice and I liked it. So you work out at the gym? 
Oh, that's Perfect. great. It's a muscle. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys on the last <laughs> segment. Thank you.